Well, 3.50 in the morning, summertime ops. Uh, stayed at Tony's last night. But it's okay. I mean, you, it is what it is. You're camping next to a delicatessen and uh, right next to the main road and right next to the railroad tracks. Uh, it's steamy, but I think I slept pretty well. At least I woke up feeling okay. So I am heading the trail. I'm gonna go into like a bed and breakfast kind of thing tonight. Um, and I'll let you know how that is. It's like a hundred bucks, but you can't even do laundry. So I, I don't know, but I just gotta get out of the heat, especially at night to sleep at least one night. So I hear that the trail from here all the way well into Connecticut is a disaster. So here we go. just stopped into the Bull Ridge Market here. It's outside of Kent. Um, it's pretty cool. Went over this covered bridge that was basically from the 19th century, so it's pretty neat. Uh, cute town, cute town. Um, met a couple folks that are subscribers to the channel, which is always really, really, really cool. So, yeah. It is hot though, it's supposed to be like 105, 110. So I am going into like a bed and breakfast kind of thing in Kent, but I still got four miles and I gotta climb a, climb a mountain. So I'll be drenched. It is what it is. So anyways, head up north. closing out another day it was ridiculously hot outside so i was on trail pretty early this morning and made pretty decent time um but i gotta tell you the last uh, ridge that i crossed with the big climb and then had lots of pointless ups and downs 
and it just absolutely sucked the life out of me so i ducked into into kent um staying at barbie's um it's really cool so this property that she, um her house is on she, her family has owned since the late 1700s and the farmhouse that's right next to it is the is the farmhouse that was built then um i mean just really cool i'm a i'm a history guy so you know, drove around town and she gave me the nickel and dime tour and, you know, they have a great Civil War uh, monument right there in the middle of town. Of course, I had to get out and take pictures of it because that's what I do. I like that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a great day. Um, now that I am not on the mountain getting beat up by the sun. So I decided to take a zero tomorrow. It's supposed to be much of the, of the same tomorrow. And then the next day, the weather's supposed to break and it's probably going to drop like 20 degrees. So then I'll, then I'll cross some miles. But, you know, I'm grateful for an opportunity to, to hang out with Barbie and, uh, you know, went into town and to the IGA and bought a steak to put on the grill and had a huge, huge salad. And it was, I mean, it just was fantastic. So anyways, tomorrow's a zero day. And then the next day I'll be back on track.